Hello, friends. The powerful and graceful Amur tigers are very interesting animals. Unfortunately, human activity has put them on the verge of extinction, and now all possible measures are being taken to preserve their population. These amazing representatives of the feline family live mainly in conservation areas, where they aren't threatened by humans. Despite their size, Amur tigers can sneak up to their prey and overtake it in just a few jumps. Their sharp claws and huge teeth leave their victim no chance at survival, while the thick skin and long fur keep them warm in the coldest weather. Amur tigers are the true master of the Azurian taiga, strong, fearless, and incredibly graceful. The Amur, or Azurian tiger, is the largest wild cat. With a body length of about 3 meters with the tail, males can weigh over 300 kilograms. Females are noticeably smaller and almost half as heavy. The Amur tiger is one of the largest subspecies. Its coat is thicker than that of tigers living in warm regions, and it has a lighter coloring. Its fur color is reddish rusty during winter, while its abdomen is white. This is the only tiger subspecies whose representatives have a 5 centimeter layer of fat on their belly. It protects them from the freezing cold wind at extremely low temperatures. The tiger's body is elongated and flexible with a round head, short paws, and a long tail. Its ears are very short, as it inhabits cold areas. The Amur tiger is capable of distinguishing colors. The biggest Siberian tiger ever recorded measured 3.8 meters from nose to the tip of the tail. It also had the longest tail, reaching 115 centimeters. The smallest tigers, the Sumatran ones, have a tail of only 60 to 90 centimeters long. The tiger lives up to 15 years in the wild and a little over 20 years in captivity. These predators inhabit the south part of the Russian Far East and northeastern China. Amur tigers are perfectly adapted to surviving in the harsh taiga conditions. Their relatively short but thick legs resemble giant snowshoes and allow them to move around easily during winter. Their thick coat exceeds 10 centimeters in certain places, and the layer of fat on their belly reaches about 5 centimeters. These protect Amur tigers from the most severe frosts. There is no doubt that the Amur tiger is one of the most powerful and formidable predators on the planet, but it doesn't mean that its life is simple and carefree. The predator's impressive size makes it difficult to stay invisible. Therefore, potential prey often flees long before the hunter even gets a chance to approach it. In time of famine, the tiger doesn't mind eating frogs, birds, and small mammals. Moreover, it doesn't miss an opportunity to fish during the salmon spotting. However, wild boars and deer, and sometimes even moose, are always priority prey. There have been rare cases when the Amur tigers killed and ate adult brown bears. Cubs of brown bears fall prey to tigers more often, which means that male tigers can drive away the she-bear who always furiously protects her offspring. The small Himalayan black bear occasionally appears in the Amur tiger diet as well. Actually, the predator drags its prey to a secluded place before feasting on it. The best time for the Amur tiger to hunt is at dusk or at night. The tiger's vision in the dark is five times sharper than that of a human. Like other felines, it freezes when it detects its target and tries to step as quietly as possible, carefully planning its attack and making sure not to reveal its presence until the last possible moment. At the last moment, the predator takes off developing speeds up to 70 kilometers per hour at short distances, which is enough to catch up with the deer and take it by surprise. Huge retractable claws are up to 10 centimeters long and don't give the victim a chance to escape, while powerful jaws with 8 centimeter fangs allow the tiger to deal with most adversaries with one single bite. The tiger can watch its prey for hours without taking its eyes off the target using natural hideouts to stay unnoticed. These tigers usually stay in places abundant with potential prey, 
But if there's a shortage, these animals can travel for thousands of kilometers per season. Sometimes, these majestic predators starve for over a week, which puts them at risk of exhaustion in cold winters. Therefore, sometimes they just can't afford to fail. When a hungry tiger gets to food, it can eat up to 30 kilograms of meat at a time. It should be noted that the daily food requirement of an adult predator in winter exceeds 10 kilograms and a little less in summer. So, it turns out that the tiger needs to hunt down over 60 large ungulates per year. After a hearty meal, the tiger can rest, relax, and tidy up while keeping an eye out on the hunted prey, staying nearby for several days until every last bite is eaten. The tiger is strong enough to drag the carcass of a horse. It is capable of developing speeds up to 80 kilometers per hour on the snow. The only animal it's inferior to in speed is the cheetah. It's hard to spot the Amur tiger as it roams an area up to 10 times larger than that of its tropical relatives. So one male's territory can reach 800 square kilometers, which they guard with not only odorous marks, but also with their sharp claws. Females, on the other hand, master areas half as big. Male territories never overlap, but they often cross female lands at once. This enables them to find partners during the mating season. Every two years, two to four tiny helpless tiger cubs are born. They will open their eyes, leave the shelter for the first time, and gradually learn all the hunting and survival skills from their mother. By the age of one and a half, cubs become independent, but they don't immediately leave their mother, especially females who can accompany her for up to four years. Nevertheless, there comes a moment when they have to leave in search of their own territory. The Amur tiger is at the top of the food chain. It had no rivals among animals until the human foot stepped on the predator's land. The extermination of tigers was so intense that by the middle of the last century, only about 40 individuals remained in the whole world. Moreover, unlike its Bengal relative, the Amur tiger rarely attacks humans. Among all the big cats, the Amur tigers are the most quiet ones. They make their presence heard mainly during the mating season. The creation of reserves and intensive conservation efforts help to partially restore the tiger's population. And today, the number of animals is about 600 individuals. However, to this day, lumberjacks keep depriving the animals of their only home. Hunters exterminate potential prey, and poachers act against all the laws. In traditional Chinese medicine, the skin and bones of the Amur tiger are considered miraculous ingredients with healing properties. Therefore, the Amur tigers are ruthlessly killed for the sake of profit. It is believed that infusions and potions prepared with these animals' body parts as ingredients help against a variety of diseases. Thus, in China, the Amur tigers were almost extinct even earlier than in Russia. There's only hope that common sense will eventually win over the greed for money. And someday, these majestic animals won't only regain their lost habitats, but also acquire new ones. Friends, that's all for today. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.